Hello and welcome to MFAC Coaching. This is one of the most exciting weeks of the year because I'm going to go back over my planners uh, for the whole year and look at different spreads and just generally uh, think back to the year uh, as I look forward to 2022. Uh, so I'm going to start that process with looking at my Silk and Sonder. Uh, my Silk and Sonder uh, journal became, or planner I should say, uh, became my catch-all. Um, so let's look how that progressed. <music> January the theme was ambition it's a good theme for the year you can see they have a place for yearly reflection you can see I use some tabs so those tabs will take me um, to the mood trackers um, or to the trackers but there's December reflection January intentions uh, my intentions are almost the same every month so that page is actually not terribly helpful for me but um, it's a good idea. Mood trackers, habit trackers, you can see I use them both very regularly. Um, this is my workout, my, they had, had a dream log for the ambitions, the wheel of life. You can just see, I actually filled it out pretty well. I was doing my own trackers, kind of bullet journaling at that time for my social media and my work. Um, you can see how I did that. Filled that out pretty well, actually. And then use some of those for when um, the start of my podcast. And then you can see how I started decorating. Um, did a currently page. Oh, it's nice and it's like spring. Nice and happy, I should say. Oh, look at the four seasons. Oh my gosh. These are just so cute and fun. Oh, I love these. Really enjoy. I really enjoy looking back at this. Okay, so that was ambition in January. For February, the theme was endearment. Well, let's just see how I did. Use the reflections, did the intentions. I'm still stickering up some of the intentions there. Pretty good with the habits and the mood tracker. Pretty much used it. Just doing my bullet journal still. All right, here we go. You can tell I really leaned into the Valentine's Day of it all. Lots of pinks, lots of reds. And then I decided to move past that. Oof, this spread is super fun. Look at that. Be the sunshine. Really enjoyed that. And then didn't do much that month. <laughs> All right. The next month is Curiosity for March. This is my word of the year was try. I'm still focusing on that in March, I guess, which is great. Great job with the mood tracker. Oh my God, but you can see I just colored it in. I didn't actually write in it, so you can tell I didn't use it then. <laughs> There's a little time where I didn't use it. That's okay. Went on a little vacation there. Had my tabs back. Love the things to be curious about. Not so great with the social media. <laughs> That's all right. Didn't have too much time to actually decorate. But here's some decorations. Oh my gosh, those are pretty. Didn't do a currently page. I find that's pretty normal. But 
these are super fun. Oh, pretty. This is See the Beauty and you can really see it. I love it. <laughs> it's like going back and being like, ooh, what did I do? So you can see I don't change up the format very often. That's pretty standard. Um, but, you know, I do get really good use out of these. Still filling out almost everything for the most part. Did actually some coloring this month. I love the coloring page. I just don't always get to do it. And I love when they have the bingos. Even though, again, like I didn't even get a bingo, but that's okay. It was something fun to try. Ooh, purple. Those are fun. Rolls and goals. You can just see the goals. The Easter. Ooh, under the sea theme. So pretty. Actually did a currently page. Those are really fun. I should go back and do those again. Wow, I didn't realize it's really been a year since I've really cemented the way in which I use this. I, it's a real, I really like it. This isn't my favorite, but that's okay. I forgot to say the theme. The theme for April was freedom. All right, then we're at May now. Still doing all those reflections. You'll see I skipped some of the first pages because I don't I don't use the, those calendars. Barely have it tracked, <laughs> but you know that's okay. And see, some months I do a lot more and some months I don't. Ooh, this is kind of a space theme. Not my favorite. Didn't do it for a week. That's okay. There we go. Hmm. I would say I wasn't feeling terribly inspired in the month of, eight, of eight, well, May, I guess. Oh, that's a little better. Ooh. Those are fun. Oh, I really like that. We're getting better again. You can see I went to four, tried to include social media as its own category now. June, the theme is play. I love that theme. June was the month of my husband's birthday, so I had some extra things going on that I was including. Right, another kind of under the sea theme. Oh, when I talk about grounding and passions and the different the differences between what it is that grounds you versus what is what are your passions, I really enjoy those. All right, and now I'm getting into all the rainbows for Pride Month. Really enjoyed all the rainbows. And then, the, oh, then all this one I really like. This orange is a little out of place. I understand why I did it, but a little pop, but I, don't, I ended up not loving that. It's a little cuter here. It's all right. Haven't done it since. And then this one, I was on vacation in Alaska, but I did decorate it. I really like it. It's always sad when you really like what you what you use and then you don't really get a chance to use it. Oh, look at this top, the butterfly. Mm, now that's really pretty. Hmm. Yeah, it's, I really like that. All right, halfway. 
which is kind of fun to see what it is that I like, what I don't like. How I do with the habits. You can see it. Some, some tracking doesn't happen. That's okay. This is me like practicing with some colors. <laughs> so I should say practicing. It was me trying out some new pens. I tried the monthly expenses. I can tell you that it, that system just does not work for me. Uh, but I now have an electronic system that does. Oh, this one's very simple. It's a little too subtle. It's almost like it doesn't pop. A little better here, but yeah, the, it's just too, too subtle. Hmm. See, we're still doing four. Well, there we go. There's some brightness. That's really enjoyable. Oh, that's super cute. Again, kind of subtle. It's funny, like these are summer months. You'd think I could be a little bit brighter, but it wasn't just kind of a relaxed mood, I guess. This is fun though with the night sky and then the trees and then the earth. I see where I was going. Hmm. All right. August, the theme was desire. And you can see that, I mean, they change up some of the way places. Like I actually really like it when they put this here at the top and not over the center. Just makes it for a cleaner page. Same here. Did pretty well. I like when I explain, like this is the first week of classes. It was crazy. So I just did not even have the like bandwidth to track things. And I've gotten much better about that. Like uh, I used to kind of beat myself up when I didn't use use every piece of it if I didn't track every day um, and I've really calmed down from that which is um, I'm very happy with um, oh these are really pretty I like it I like the pink even the little line in the middle I kind of like that the blue and the gold you can see why so many teams have that. You can see stuff that has fallen off because that was definitely there. Oh, these are fun. Kind of back to school. I like seeing what I did there. Oh, I do love this under the sea. Oh, I do love the sea. Can you tell? Oh, look at these. Oh. I think there were some more stickers on here, but I think they've fallen off. That's kind of funny. I didn't do anything there. I did use it, but didn't get a chance to decorate. September's theme was joy. It's a great theme. Now we're back to the tabs. You see they won't, the tabs went missing for a while, but you're gonna see the tabs come back because I find them really helpful. This is also the first month, I believe, that they let you purchase stickers. Um, and by they, I mean the Silk and Sondra company. They actually put out matching stickers so that the stickers match the colors of that month. So that is a fantastic little addition. It does cost a little bit more, like $10, but you get four, like five or six different types of stickers. Uh, very fun. You can see I'm always trying out new markers to see what does, or highlighters, what does and doesn't bleed. These ones bleed a little bit more, so I actually think I uh, gave those away after this month. But they gave you all these dot stickers, so I filled out the full gumball machine. That was super fun. Did a bit more of the coloring that month. And then these are some of the stickers that they provided. This one is a washi tape that I added in addition. So pretty. Kind of pull out from the stickers. 
this is simple, but I kind of like the uh, kind of reflection that you get from that. Missed a week, that happens. Back to some florals. I do really love florals, and these are Kill of a Plan stickers. Erin Condren stickers. <laughs> funny how I can see where this, I can remember what stickers come from where. Some more kind of outdoorsy sets. Really enjoy the browns with the greens. Love the tabs. The tabs really make a huge difference. And another rainbow spread. Very fun. Oh, I kind of like the ends. It's very interesting what I did there. Oh, I like it. And now you can see we're back to three. I didn't find that having a social media section was overly helpful, so I stopped doing it. All right, we're getting towards the end, friends. So here's October. Every October, I love this mood tracker. Um, if they ever switch it up, I will be so sad. Um, there's just This one's just so easy to do. Just so beautiful to do that sunflower in October. Did well job with the habit tracking. Really did well with these different things. Ironically, the, I think the theme was patience, which is something I claim not to have, but I really enjoyed kind of thinking about it that month. Uh, but you wouldn't have known that by hearing me talk about it. I was like, Ugh, patience, who wants that? All right, so didn't use it that week. Sometimes when it's like this, you'll find I used it more from the previous month. Let's see. Yeah, so this month was the same. So this is, you'll, I did it in September and not in October. But again, here are the different washies you could get. Just playing with their um, stickers that they sent but it's not enough to do this page and this page so I had to switch it up this combination's nice again some more of their stickers and then um, I think this is from the washi tape store and then these are definitely stickers that I got at either Rite Aid or Target <laughs> And now I'm leaning in to the Halloween. So fun. Really enjoy this. And these are some happy planner stickers. Very cute. All right. Last month was November. The theme was compassion. This was a really busy month for me. This is the month I turned 40. I did have a lot of fun with glitter pens and you can, I don't know if you, you can catch it, but there's a lot of glitter just like on the page. <laughs> so fun. Did a good job with tracking until it got to be, uh, I had a friend in town for my 40th and uh, then I just stopped tracking. So I didn't use this, the, top, the front stuff quite as much. Uh, but you're going to see a theme here. So it was my birthday month and boy, did I lean into that. So birthday month and then, oh yes, this is my friends theme because all month I talked about things that I really enjoy. And so friends is one of them. Really enjoyed that. And then travel is another. So these things all having to do with travel. I really enjoy uh, these kind of city scenes. And then this was the week of Thanksgiving, but I didn't um, didn't plan that month or that week. I was actually off on vacation, so that was nice. And then this was my birthday week, so I was still on leave. So I didn't do anything until I had to come back in December. <laughs> For December, I did not purchase the corresponding um, stickers. 
save myself a little bit of money. Um, but I just happened to have some Erin Condren stickers that I think matched pretty well with the color scheme. So I used those. I have not done a good job of tracking this month. That happens. It's busy. So if you're always wondering like if if you're new to Silk and Sonder, you're new to planning, and you're judging your planning based on December, I highly encourage you to go back and look, uh, because I really did do a lot of that beginning stuff most months. Um, it just tapered off in the most recent months, and that is just because I've been busier and it hasn't been a focus. Um, so if I was focusing, trying to look at whether or not I would want this, I would want to compare uh, the earlier months um, and not the later months. Uh, so I will definitely be getting another year of Silk and Sonder just based on uh, how I'm using it, how much I use it, particularly in those earlier months. Um, now, if I were to go back and after six months, I find that they're more like this in the front, barely tracking my mood and barely using any of these, uh, then I might decide um, that I don't need this particular planner. Um, but uh, just going back and seeing how much I use those other months um, I'm going to definitely stick with it for a little while longer. So there's my first, uh, holiday spread. So cute. I think the theme for the month, let's see, let's go back. Oh, so the, the former one, the previous one would have been from in November. So I showed that to you. And then I talked about a blue Christmas. So that was the theme just left this alone. I just think it was so cute with these little penguins. And then red and green was the theme. Here. This is actually the week that I'm recording this. This is today. <laughs> And then you're gonna find the rest is not done yet. So I've got two more spreads to do. And that is a whole year of Silk and Sonder. I encourage you to let me know which one, which, which day, which weeks, I guess, stood out to you as more of a favorite. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you use a Silk and Sonder, if you have any questions about it, please let me know. Um, Silk and Sonder, what happens is, um, you buy it, you can either buy it at a monthly, month at a time, or a year. I think they might also have like three or four month subscriptions, I'm not sure. And uh, towards the end of each month, you get the next month's planner. So they tell you what the theme is. And as you can see, uh, it's fairly standardized in the sense of um, you, you get a letter from the creator, you get some instruction sheets, you get the one month, then you get kind of the next four months. Um, you get space to, for reflections of the previous month. You get um, places to put your intentions. Get a mood tracker, a habit tracker, and then some tracking, all of which is um, related to the theme. This theme is indulgence. get some visualization exercises, some different prompts. Sometimes there are more, sometimes there's less. There's always uh, at least one recipe, which are very fun to try. They are usually uh, vegan, um, if not they're vegetarian. Um, not always gluten-free, but oftentimes so. You always get a coloring page, kind of an adult coloring page, and a lot of times you get these nature games, which I don't do very often in terms of writing them down, but I do really enjoy reading them and going through them. And then you get some uh, notes pages and expense trackers, and then you get this page um, where you can see every month I change the categories um, and really make it work for me. Um, and then you get four weeks of the actual weekly spread where you've seen that I always um, edit it. I always make the, the boxes uh, into three boxes, sometimes four, but now it's pretty standard to do three, decorate the top. You don't have to do that. It's just something that brings me joy. And so that's how I use that top portion every week. 
All right. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great week. Bye.